Hey everyone, it's me, Joji, and today we are going to open up the products that I have the worst luck with. They are blister packs. Ooh. Now, I have two of these today. I have the one with Eevee here up at the front, and then I have one with Flareon here as well. Now, it looks like they have the same coins. They come with three packs, and as I said, these usually have the worst luck for me, and <laughs> I don't expect my luck to change with these, even though... Darkness of Blaze have been showing us that luck can change. The, server, the first two pre-release boxes that we opened up on the channel were just horrible. No pulls. I think each one only had one hollow. And then during the pre-release tournament, we pulled some amazing cards like that Full Art Cobot V and a Pokemon Breeders Nurturing Full Art. And then we've been just pulling amazing cards from booster boxes as well, both on the channel and off camera. But yeah. I don't know about these. These are usually the worst products for me to open. I'm hoping my luck changes today, but we'll see in a few seconds once we get these opened up. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open both of these up, um, sleeve the promos, take a closer look at these coins. I don't think I have Manaphy coins. Um, and then we'll open up all six packs today. All right. Now, I don't know if the, the Eevee and Flareon promos are reprints of a different uh, Eevee and Flareon promo or Flareon cards. I know, was it Cosmic Eclipse that had Eevees or was it Sword and Shield? It was a whole bunch of like Eevee, um, not Eevee, but some cards that were, um, I guess, evolution uh, base when it came to their abilities and attacks. I don't know if these are the same ones. Maybe they're different ones. But let's get all this out of here. Let's get the packs. All right. Uh, I don't think it matters since we're going to have horrible luck anyways. Um, when it comes to which one came with which. Can't speak. Uh, with with which came with which <laughs> uh, blister, but let's take a closer look at this Manaphy coin. It is nice to have a coin from a blister that isn't a repeat, for me at least. I don't know if this Manaphy coin came out a different time ago and I just missed it or what, but I don't have this Manaphy coin. Now I have two and I need to get rid of one. <laughs> I think I might start giving away coins with um, winnings as well if you guys want. All right, here is the Flareon Hollow. Nice promo. Uh, if it is a Flareon from a different set, the artwork is probably just different here. Um, here is this Eevee, Signs of Evolution. That attack sounds familiar. I don't know, honestly, um, if this is from uh, Sword and Shield, maybe earlier or if it's an actually a completely new card on its own they haven't done that in a while usually a lot of the promos they've been releasing are reprints except for maybe some of the, a few of the earlier sword and shield ones like uh i think uh the appleton one was a different version of the regular appleton uh but yeah here are the two promos nothing too special about these guys uh they're just Promos. Here is a code for the Eevee blister. And here is the code for the Flareon. Now, I'm assuming these only get you one card, so enjoy that promo. Um, I don't know. I, I don't understand people that collect these uh, promo cards online. They're kind of meh if they're not usable on the online game, so... Let's start off with uh, whatever pack this was because I forgot already. As I said, I don't think it matters because we'll get like really bad luck regardless. I'm also interested to see if we do pull anything, if it's an ultra rare, if it's going to have that weird residue that, that we've been seeing on other ultra rare cards. So if you remember that residue only showed up on ultra rare cards from booster boxes. Now we opened up, I forget what product it was, um, 
I'm blanking, but um, we opened something up that, oh, they were just, I think, regular packs. Um, and they did not have the residue that the cards um, from the Wisher Box did. So I, I was kind of confused. The ETV, that's what it was. These, they were packs from ETVs, and they didn't have the weird residue on the Ultra Rare pull. So I'm wondering if it was just a booster box thing. And hopefully we get an Ultra Rare here today, and we can confirm whether or not that was the case. Let's see, we have Larvesta, a Gotharita Reverse, and a Manectric to show us that we are not getting any pulls today, at least so far. Maybe our luck will change. As I said, Darkness of Blaze has been showing us that our luck can change drastically. But hey, maybe it can drastically go back to what it was before as well. Here is a code card for you guys. One, two, three. Energy. We have Fletchender. Gotharita. Uh, we have Kabu. Darumaka. Lavatar. Nicket. Bound Sweet. Snubble. Doug Trio Reverse, and is there a pull at the end here? Uh, it's a hollow, at least. It's a heat ran um, regular hollow. Not too exciting. I already have, I think, like two or three of these guys. And based on his attacks, I don't think it's worth playing at all. So, not, the, not, not too exciting here. But hey, at least we got a pull, I guess. I think uh, I mentioned in the previous video, some pulls are better than no pull, so that's still something. So out of those two packs so far, half are pulls. Let's see if we get more than half for the pulls from this blister pack, whichever it was. One, two, three, energy. And we have more energy with powerful energy. Soul Rock, Bounce Sweet, Aaron. Hub Chew, Rowlet, Jigglypuff, Diglett, a Staraptor Reverse, and another Staraptor at the end. It seems like this is maybe the third or fourth time that this has happened on the channel where we get the Reverse and then the regular or Hollow after it. That is, I don't know if this is a Darkness of Blaze thing or if maybe you guys have seen this as well before. But yeah, let me know in the comments. How many times this has happened to you where you get a reverse and a hollow or regular rare right after? Man, we're just getting some weird odds, but so one blister so far has only had one pull. Not looking too good. I've mentioned this before in an old series that I used to do, which I feel like I should bring back, especially with these um, <laughs> blisters. Uh, should you buy this? Should you buy blisters? Blis these three pack blister, um, blister of Pokemon cards. I say no, because so far, as you've seen, the pull rates are really, really bad when it comes to these, um, three pack blisters. It even is really bad on the sleeved packs. And I've noticed it also on, uh, I haven't tried those new double packs with the Sword and Shield and uh, Darkness of Blaze yet. I have a bunch of them for a different video, so subscribe to check those out, and we'll see if the pull rates are good on those. But the sleeve packs and three-pack blisters have always been the worst luck. I always say get your packs from a booster box, because you're more guaranteed to get pulls from those at least. <laughs> okay, we're starting off with no pulls on this side as well. Yeah, I would not be surprised if the only pulls we get, or the only pull we get today is that Heatran. Hey, maybe for some reason the center pack, or whatever this position was, always has a guaranteed hit. Who knows? I don't know, but the odds don't seem to be in our favor today. <laughs> and they never seem to be in our favor when it comes to these blister packs. We have Rookity, Mr. Mime, Electrike, Dino, a Wigglytuff Reverse, and a Gramble. Oh my gosh. Wow, are we going to get a dud blister here? We might get a dud pack here. These three packs may be duds. That is 
horribly disappointing. I can't believe how bad our luck is today. I'm just hoping that maybe we get some last pack luck here at the very end. Let's see here. We have a Lightning Energy. We have Relicanth. Yellhorn. Ursaring. Ooh. Cub Chew. Rowlet. Jigglypuff. Diglett. Panpour. A Mr. Mime Reverse. And do we have a pull at the end? Hopefully it's an Ultra Air or better. Just so it makes up for the horrible luck we've had so far. It... <laughs> It's just a regular hollow Tyranitar. Well, we know that, oh, we knew that these have the worst luck when it comes to Pokemon products. We've literally got only two hollows out of six packs. Again, it, some pulls are better than no pulls, but if you're me who's trying to finish a master set, uh, these are not pulls you want to keep repeating. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, if you do plan on getting packs or Pokemon products in general, check out your local game shop uh, and buy packs from a booster box instead of sleeve packs or blister packs from a Walmart or Target. Uh, ETBs usually have better pull rates as well. Maybe you'll get three or four, maybe even the whole box will have pulls, but blister packs, sleeve packs never have the best luck. Should you buy them? Absolutely not. But what you should absolutely do is get subscribed and ring that bell to get notified on more Pokemon content. And plus, we are going to live stream this Saturday at... At 12 p.m. PST. I don't know the time yet, but it's going to be up here. So <laughs> hopefully you catch it. Um, we're going to open up probably a booster box uh, because we still have, I believe, four booster boxes to go through. And I really want to see if we get some more gold cards. I believe I'm only missing three or four more um so who knows hopefully catch you there and as always stay safe and thanks for watching